Golden uh, earlier last month. Might be nearly good enough to get away with this. Powerful Pat has done very little in its three runs at the Garden, but it uh, holds uh, its place in the market at $3.10. Now the last couple locked away. They are all in. The green light is through, and they're all set for race number two. Favourite in the seven. Ready. Racing Jacobite Fancy away fairly. Gundle Shoppy, Despicable Wayne away nicely. G there, tight and Jacobite Fancy sliced them off and ran five. Clear down the back over Powerful Pat. Followed by Despicable Wayne around it. Gundle Shoppy, a break in the field. Miami Jazz, Jacobite Bow. The leader is Jacobite Fancy in the corner. Two in front of Powerful Pat. Gundle Shoppy, he's a turn. Jacobite Fancy, the leader. Powerful Pat trying to run it down. Hanging on. Jacobite Fancy got him by a head over Powerful Pat and Gundle Shoppy between them. A break in the field. Miami Jazz. And the wing runners for the last two, Despicable Wayne and Jacobite Bow, the time of around 23 and 20. Number seven, Jacobite Fancy has prevailed. Another couple of hops, and she was in all sorts of strife. She really sliced them off at the first corner, and uh, that's probably one of the race. By Swift Fancy at a moonshine whippy, Joanne Kerr, the owner trainer. Second will go the number two, Powerful Pat. Rave Waters, a much improved run from that Greyhound. And five, Gundle Shoppy. Not far away, the centre has run third, Kevin Clune. And just standing by for fourth, the winner of the return, 240 and 150. So seven, two, five, and four are the numbers. Seven, two, five, four. 1478 was the run home. 23.20 is the uh, overall time. No margins through at uh, this stage. So seven, two, five, four after the second event. Now, 8.47 was the first section, 8.47.